Hey guys, just another gamer here and yep, it's like 9 in the morning So they just released on this boss because I mean that's for like my timing You guys will know where I'm from So yep, so today will be the fifth spend which we'll be facing against Gobez So we'll be getting another Mitru and a Crystal Memory Load I think that's for the first one The Memory Crystal Load So he comes with this Shadow Dragon as per usual and then Yep, he has this Black Fang ability which will lead to an instant KO. So I might just bring Raise or Re-Raise. Erase or Revive. I think it doesn't matter for that case. Then Gobez will use the thing this elemental shift. So he'll be like weak to fire ice lightning depending on like the window period. So vulnerable to holy and then DR the is like a better skill. Yep. So nevertheless, it should be ready. My party is like ready because the next part I'll need like an ice strike. So I got the Bizlava strike for this case. Let me just show you guys the rough stats of them. So these are the rough stats I'll be doing for the big bridge and also for the reef mode. Yep, so let's get right started into it. I have no idea what. Uh If there is like a re-raise, I'll use a re-raise. This guy is like 70. Oh, this guy uses MND, so I'm gonna follow this guy. I'm gonna use and then I'll follow this guy. And he's using the Ludo Hairpin, which is like the FF10 event, which is ongoing right now. So let's get right started into getting my hands on Gobez. You know in these battles I was thinking whereby the the background would be like changed to like the the actual one. I mean I hope I was hoping for like the actual background. Okay, so this is like a massacre. I think Sync Cross will be damn OP here. Let's see, we just use... Oh, I should full break. Let me check the speed. Okay, it's still on 1. Anyways, I think it's, it's done with. Even without the full break. <laughs> but Sync Cross is quite OP here. I hope that I can get the, the Paladin Force for the Reef mode so that everything will be like much easier for my case. Alright so we are done with the Big Bridge mode. Memory Crystal, oh, memory crystal 1 load. Oh yeah I just saw that. <laughs> you can't blame me. Yep, I'll be following this following this guy. So I only have like 46 people that I'm actually following. <laughs> okay, so this will be difficulty 140. And then the Shadow Dragon. I'll face them both. Elemental changes. He counter ice attack while he's vulnerable to fire. Okay, okay, so I gotta use like the right one throughout the whole game. Yaga, Shaoga, da da da, and then exploit, exploit the Shadow Dragon's weakness to Holy, then reduce the Shadow Dragon's threat. So I gotta like nuke down on like the Dragon like, ASAP. Hope that I have the, hope that I have a Paladin Force here. <laughs> It'd be quite OP here. Uh, nobody. Oh, we got the Paladin Force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, although you're level fifty-five. Okay, at least we have like four attacks. For no attack. Yeah, yeah. I'm still gonna use the Paladin Force. Oh, 
Alright, let's go for this. I think the I read that the dragon has like around 80, 60 to 80,000 HP, but it's, it's Black Fang is only used like after a number of turns. So I hope that I have like the, the right opening or like the amount of time. But now Tyro is like 0, at zero ATB. Okay, we just like, let me like get the shoe up. And then... Shaoga, yes. Yeah, shout. I should have used Paladin Force, I guess. Now that I realize I should have actually brought the other one. I should have brought like a banishing raid instead of like saying cross. Because of that haze. It's just in case that whereby if he goes crazy. Okay, then I'll just use Paladin Force like right after this. Yep, Paladin Force then. So this is like acting as though like my Cecil actually got the S Calibre, which I didn't get. <laughs> uh, yep, we'll use this skill, Life Siphon. Oh shit, I'm sure I change my skills. Vulnerable to fire. Is it dead? Okay, it's dead. So I'm pretty safe against the Black Fang. Let's do a Radiant Wing. Hey, wait, I should. I'm on the BSB mode. I should use his skills. But anyways, I will get like some boost of like the damage because of Holy. Yeah, I know. That will be like the rough damage kind of like. Vulnerable to lightning. Could have tried the crushing blow. Now I'm just waiting for him to change his elements, the weakness that is. Okay, okay, now's the time. Just for the three medals. <laughs> I've been waiting like so long for these three medals. Then, then sacred circle. I think sacred circle does more damage if that if I already hit like the soft cap. For that. Because if you if you already do like nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine, probably your damage will like overshot on that case. Because the soft cap and then his weakness against holy, and he actually self imbues himself with holy, so it's quite easy to hit the soft cap. So I feel that 
I should, or you guys could actually try out using the the other way around it. The other way, as in the second skill instead of the first skill. This skill shouldn't kill. So, so little damage. Okay. This should kill, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so that's what we have for Gobes. Major Ice Orb, Major Lightning, Gauntlets, Major Fire. Okay, so because Gobet's like the three elements, or he's like multi elements because he's like a black magician, so maybe they're giving like triple of that orbs. Sorry, but I do not want to follow on that. <laughs> maybe if the level is higher. Yeah, actually that's true. This cost Kafka gives Ah okay, so actually the must the reward seems like related to like what what the what the boss is like. Okay, let's just like briefly go through on like this item. I'm gonna lock it because I kinda like this item from the start because it has like defense and resistance but it's FF it's only for FF4 but nevertheless I feel that it's pretty good. Then we have a new relic draw right now which is the breakout tool and uh, we have his tiders yep so five physical water attacks to all targets and then envelope into surging water so but all his attacks are like based on water which i kind of feel it like a bit meh and then uh, for twin lance which is from squall which is the one the cooking fire and the wind then the full metal ward which is the one that summons Bahamut. That's an SSB. Oh my god. Okay. Then small boots and holy damage intercession by Panelo. Kotetsu which is FF4. Are they like linked with the event? Such that they put a Kotetsu here. <laughs> Not too sure about this attack but it's like physical lightning to one target 8 hits. With paralyzed and slow. Then a drew which is... Oh man, I do not know about this Edgar's and Sabine that really much. Temporary raise the party's attack by moderate amount. The previous one was like raising defense. Then a holy wall restores moderate amount, which is a cure, and then resistance by moderate amount. Something which you can stack with shell. If you are going for haste and shell, this will be like the only one. Vega for you too. Which is by Shas. So this is the only one that gives on like haze and shell. Yup. I think I'm probably be waiting for like the third it's either the top the third one or the fourth one. Whereby there'll be like I feel I'm more interested in getting butts. Then Tyro wise I think is something that additional if I can get maybe I can get. But I gotta plan on like my Mitchells. Which I can probably hit like 350, so which means that I have like Around 7 more draws till the end of the event Then right after that it will be like saving for like Surfing of BSB Which is like Is it the end of Sometime soon Alright so I guess that's That's all for today Then until tomorrow whereby we'll be facing another new boss I'm not sure who is that I'll like check out on that like tomorrow Or later Yep. so thanks for watching And then feel free to ask any questions then I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Alright, goodbye.